you target if you plan on targeting from Android 10 Android 11 Google has changes method of accessing external storage so from API 23 above you are to request permission from users so you only get storage access when the user the user actually gives you the permission so by default when you add a schedule camera component you add a schedule cam camera component or you add a file picker component schedule automatically or you add any of these five blocks schedule automatically set up your request permission it automatically sets everything for you so so but this method stopped from api 20 28 so in 29 is not really useful on its own so you have to you check whether the permission has been given if it's if it's denied you you request for another one with a request code 1000 so this initialized logic now is actually the uncreate so of schedule method so if you plan on accessing all android storage all android version storage so you need to do this we need to use this command blocks to replace schedule method of accessing storage so there is no need of actually checking if users give you permission before you do anything you want to do all you just need to do is to request permission or android automatically request the permission by the user anytime it is denied so automatically it always reacts so first of all i'm going to replace schedule request method i'm going to replace it so by default we initialize logic whether permission is given or not so if permission is not given you can then you can then you don't even need you necessarily not need to even do anything it's already automatic user can access storage if they don't give you the permission to your app so i'm going to check if the build is the case greater than android 10 that is from android 11 so if it's android 11 what you have to do is you have to request permission and you have to manage external storage but as it appears now play store doesn't support apps that request manage external storage like they aren't even ready for android 11 apps so this is what you have to do in your manifest okay your manifest your manifest your application tag so you need to add this request this request permission we schedule does it add for you this manage so you need to add it so when you add it you make sure your api level isn't android 30 sorry isn't android 11 your api level must be 29 below even though your apk won't be installed on android 11 it will have installation issues so when we request for permission in android 11 above android 10 above sorry so we request this permission then if build sdk we are going from this permission this permission now is only useful when the build sdk is api 23 to api 29 so this is the permission we are requesting with a request code 1000 so your manifest should look something exactly like this your manifest should look something like this we only added this on request permission result only so that the user don't really necessarily need to go outside of the app again before they can access your storage after giving you permission so your manifest should look something like this when requesting on android from android 1 to android 11 so this is how it should look like if you want to access the storage I want to write and read the storage so from here we are checking if the permission is given so the request code is 1000 so we are going to check on request permission results if request code is 1000 then we initialize logic and i said 
initialize logic is what is happening in the on create session of schedule and initialize logic is what holds your source code in schedule like what actually initialize your logic so is that's why it is actually called initialize logic so that's why schedule gave it the name initialize logic so in order to make a storage so android from android 11 you are not allowed to access or write a storage outside of the storage folder that android create for you or you are not allowed to even access any media files a user auto generate so the only storage we are allowed to access for now unless they change it the only storage we are allowed to access is the one that that is located here in your android your data so these are the only storage we are allowed to create in android 10 from from android 11 above you are not allowed to create anything here you are not allowed to create anything here this is the only place you can you can write and read to because of user's policy user's privacy policy so if you are accessing android 10 android 10 which uses also uses scope, scope storage and legacy storage so if you want to access android 10 i want to have full functionality as previous api levels so you need to add your legacy storage permission you need to add the tag so you need to opt out of scope storage and your app need to add this in its app, uh, manifest so you need to add this request legacy external storage so by doing so from android 10 below you can also create folder so that permission lets you create folder it lets you use the previous method of accessing storage which doesn't really give users the privacy google gave so google just gave us the grace to actually prepare for android 11 so we still have the grace in android 10 to access storage write and read as long as you request legacy external storage so that is all so for android 10 and, um, and below you can access storage normally if you add these blocks which creates a folder it will create the folder anywhere and everywhere you needed it but in android 11 the request legacy external storage is ignored so the only useful blocks is this which creates your app package directory so you only create your that is the only storage you can write and read so if you are to create a storage if you are to create if you want to create a folder in android 11 what you need to do what you need to do you need to check if build is okay so if you want to create a folder from android 11 so i think she should do you need to check if the current user is using android 11 so if the user is using android 11 what you should do is you make package directory you don't make external storage directory because it is ignored and nothing is up will happen so for your app to actually be ready for android 10 unless google will make changes so you need to request this way so this is how you access external storage in android 11 android 10 and below so this is how all is done this is all there is no much logic there i'll be sharing the the project so you can just click on the link to download the project to see exactly what i'm saying so that is all thank you please don't forget to subscribe